the American economy is once again on the verge of a uh, breakdown. Uh, we've been in a recession for normal people for the last uh, 15 years. Uh, most people in normal income ranges have less income than they had 15 years ago, whereas the products they need to buy have gone up in price so that they are living at a lesser standard than they did 15 years ago. Um, we are uh, confronting a banking crisis in Europe, uh, which will impact our banks again, uh, and there's not much insulation in those banks uh, for another hit as they had in 2007-8. Well, I mean, the disaster could happen before the election, but um, uh, if it were to happen after the election or if it were to need to be diverted after the election, uh, someone would need to step in and enforce the regulations that have been put in place uh, and perhaps redivide the banks into banking and speculation as they were before Bill Clinton, Larry Summers, and Bob Rubin changed it. and. Uh, got the Glass-Steagall Act revoked. I mean, Donald's just a buffoon, and uh, uh, there are a lot of things about Donald that are quite amusing, but mostly uh, what won't be amusing would be to see him as president. I think that he has a chance, because uh, we have Hillary, and Hillary is, um, not going to be someone who is going to help the nation in terms of its economic plight. Uh, she has been paid quite well uh, by the banks to keep it, to keep the banks open in their speculative businesses. She has given a series of speeches, in fact, to various industrial complexes, including the oil companies and the military companies and the pharmaceutical companies and the insurance companies et al. Uh, she's given some 92 speeches. And in her 92, from her 92 speeches, uh, she has uh, uh, averaged somewhere near $200,000 per speech uh, per company. Bill, during the same period, gave 96 speeches, uh, roughly at $200,000 a speech. Those speeches were also given to the military industrial complex, the oil companies, the banks, etc. And those speeches were never recorded anywhere. The media was not allowed to visit any of those speeches. And people now ask, what were they about? They were either about something very profound and secret, which I doubt, or they were simply a method of transferring $40 million to Bill and Hillary. One of now, the things that Senator Sanders points to and a lot of your critics point to is you made three speeches for Goldman Sachs. You were paid $675,000 mm -hmm. for three speeches. Was that a mistake? I mean, was that a bad error in judgment? Look, I made speeches to lots of groups. I told them what I thought. I answered questions. But did you have to be paid $675,000? Well, I don't know. Um, that's what they offered. So, um, <laughs> you know, anybody, anybody who knows me, who thinks that they can influence me, name anything they've influenced me on. Now, with that $40 million in their pockets, I think it's very unlikely they're going to restrict the monopolistic and oligopolistic society that we live in today. In fact, I think they will live with what the banks want to do. I think it's a, dis a disaster. I think these people have no good in their souls. I think they're only there for themselves or personal aggrandizement, and in her case, more money. So in 1979, Hillary Clinton Bill was about to become um, uh, governor of the state of Arkansas. Hillary Clinton did a Genius thing, she became the greatest commodity trader on earth. She turned $1,000 into $100,000 in one week, trading commodities. Now, those commodities um, were, or those trades, were supervised by Tyson Foods. And Tyson Foods 
happened to have been a very major producer of food, chicken to be exact, in Arkansas. Imagine, Arkansas. Chickens. But she didn't trade chickens. She traded other commodities. And it was tr they were traded for her by the Tyson executives. In those days, you were able to put on a two-sided transaction in the morning, and you allocated the transaction to the buyers and the sellers at the end of the day. So guess what? Hillary got the winning trades and Tyson Foods got the losing trades and she got a hundred thousand plus dollars and Bill became governor of Arkansas. And guess what? Tyson Foods was rapidly exempted from all of the environmental issues having to do with the chickens. Her brother Hugh um, represented a couple of, uh, I guess they were drug dealers who were in jail, uh, represented them in applying for pardons. And of course they got the pardons. And guess what? Hugh got a $400,000 fee. This is a very moneyed family. Uh, it focuses a lot on money. And, um, and so those are a couple of things that I sort of noticed and think that it makes her really quite unfit to be president of the United States of America. It would have been really good if the Democrats saw what's gonna happen in this campaign because part of what I've said to you today is that this campaign is going to be such a nightmare for Hillary and for both sides, and the country will be ripped apart by it. The Democrats should have and should turn to Bernie. They will certainly win with Bernie against Trump because Bernie will get those people from Trump who want to change, and they might very well lose with Hillary, and even if they want win, she will be paralyzed from what happens in this campaign. So the next time, that you hear me attacked as a socialist, like tomorrow. <laughs> Remember this, I don't believe government should take over, you know, the grocery store down the street, or own the means of production. But I do believe that the middle class and the working families of this country who produce the wealth of this country deserve a decent standard of living and that their incomes should go up, not down.